Hi everyone, uh, this is another video for something that we have built at Automate Intelligently for our Nodalo course, uh, basically the largest course that exists uh, to help users learn Adalo. Uh, right now, I think we're sitting at probably almost eight hours of video, I think. Um, and it has a lot of these tutorials and walkthroughs of popular apps that exist like Uber Eats, um, restaurant and delivery apps, uh, booking applications. Uh, in this one, we're going through Canny. Uh, we're going to do an Uber one soon. Uh, so it's a great resource if you are looking for a lot more detail on how to build some of these apps. So in this overview, I just want to show you if you're familiar with the Dalo and you've used it before, Dalo has this great resource. It's powered by Canny. I really like Canny. I would not suggest that you try and replace them necessarily with this. But um, you can see all of the things here that, that people have requested from Adalo. You can uh, upvote these. You can uh, see the status of some of the different things that people want. Um, you see the comments on it. Um, you can comment on it, see who else has voted on it. And then I think the roadmap is also very important because then you can see uh, everything the Adalo team is working on, you know, increase app speed, uh, and you can see what is being planned as well as what's delivered. So let's hop into what we built. So this is the simple version of it. Um, and of course, this is just the uh, external facing side of Canny. The Adalo team has an entirely different interf interface, so I'm not going to rebuild that. But what we did is we rebuilt this with um, you know, a home screen here. We have the, the create a post section that allows users to create a post. We built an entire custom list here with the upvoting feature. We used a toggle for this so that um, we can show and add users to the count. Um, and then we have a count of all the comments on each of those posts. If we go to our details post, our details page. Um, again, we have like that nice list of all the voters on the side. Um, we did some nice math here too. So we limited it to 10 users and we put some math in that shows you how many people voted beyond that 10 with some conditional visibility. So it doesn't show if there's less than 10. We have the full status and details of the post itself, as well as we built that whole comment section that you see um, uh, under one of these um, uh, posts and features here. Um, and with the ability to like it, we used a toggle for that as well. And then we built the entire roadmap as well. So we have the you know different ideas or feature requests based off of their status here. I want to point out just a few really cool things um, that I don't think we have done in a lot of other apps or videos. Um, one is uh, in this, and that we're going to do a video just purely dedicated to this, so you, you might see this again. But we want users to be able to go to this screen and, and see the screen without even logging in. We don't want them to have to log in. So they, anyone can come here. The thing is that if the user is not logged in, we will force them to this kind of like log in or sign up screen, this modal we put together. And they can either then, they can either sign up or they can log in. But either way, they have to do one of those and then they can create a post. If you're already logged in, then you don't need to uh, sign up or log in again. Uh, it's already done, and then you can just create a post. And I think that's a really great workflow for people that have apps where you want to have some information showcased externally, um, and then you want to limit users to uh, interacting with that information uh, until they've created an account. Another great example of that would be like a restaurant app where you want to show people the menu, you want people to be able to go through and add items to a cart, but in order to actually check out, they have to log in or sign up. That's another great example of that. And we just used um, some filtering based off of whether the user is logged in or not here. Um, and that works super well. 
I hope this is helpful. This was a very quick and easy tutorial for us. I think we did it in less than an hour and built all of this, um, as well as all of the collections that kind of make that run. So we're going to be releasing a lot more videos like this. I think up next, we'll probably do an Uber clone. Um, but if you have any special requests, let me know and we will try and get those to you. Um, and if you want to see the full video of how we built this or any of our other apps, uh, then I would definitely check out the Nodalo course. You also get the, um, the templates that we built. So this template will be in there for people to copy that, um, that want to. All right. Thanks, everyone, and have a great day.